How nice. What are you giving him? Oh, an antique watch. Mm. Do you see how beautiful it is, Pedro? This watch is 50 years old and it is never late. They don't make watch like that these days, Pedro. Para clarear um pouquinho, an antique watch significa um relógio antigo. Reparem no artigo an que apareceu antes da palavra antique, porque ela começa com uma vogal. Apareceu também uma outra expressão de frequência de tempo. Take a look. This watch is 50 years old and it is never late. This watch is never late. Ou seja, este relógio nunca está atrasado. Com o meu já acontece exatamente o contrário. It's always late. And I'm always late. Do you understand? And then people get angry at me. Carol, you are 25 minutes late. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm really very sorry. Then I get very embarrassed and I have to do something about this watch. I don't know what I can do, but I have to think of something. <laughs> Those things are very expensive, boss. Yes, I know. I usually don't buy expensive things like that. But I think my brother is going to love it. He collects antiques. You must be rich to buy a watch like that. I think you should give me a raise. A raise? A raise? I should give you more work. That's what I should give you. Very funny, young man. Very funny. Outra palavra para indicar expressão de tempo é usually. Reparem que estas palavras sempre aparecem entre o sujeito e o verbo. Por exemplo, I usually don't buy expensive things like that, but I think my brother is going to love it. He collects antiques. Um novo verbo modal que apareceu é o must. Ao contrário do might, remember? O might que indica uma possibilidade, o must indica algo que realmente tem que acontecer. Ele é sinônimo do have to. Deem uma olhada. You must be rich to buy a watch like that. I think you should give me a raise. It's time for our review. Aprendemos algumas palavras que indicam a frequência com que fazemos alguma coisa. São elas. Always. And I. Never, usually, sometimes e rarely. Outra coisa, aquele S no final das palavras para indicar posse, por exemplo. This is Carol's t-shirt. Understand? E por fim, os verbos modais might e must. O primeiro para indicar alguma coisa que pode acontecer, talvez. E o segundo para indicar algo que tem que acontecer. For example, she might be late for dinner. Ou, you must study English every week. Well, guys, vamos ficando por aqui. Estudem bastante, study a lot, cause no nosso próximo encontro teremos mais coisas, more things para aprender, to learn. Teacher, good luck, they're all yours. So many new ideas, I'll work to make them worth. I can reach higher by trying hard. What will be my choice? My future, I will write. I'm strong enough to fight for all my rights. To be a doctor, a janitor, a nurse, engineer, DJ, waiter, a policeman that serves. An actress, writer, driver, designer, you're free to choose your life that you deserve Knowledge is the source in which I'll find my way That's the start to make my dreams come true